So you're telling me the iPhone 15 Pro is faster than the brand new iPad mini 7? Yep, you heard that right. Apple just pulled a classic Apple move, introducing the A17 Pro chip into the iPad mini 7. But there's a catch. They've slimmed it down. Let's dive into what exactly Apple's doing here and why it matters, especially if you're deciding between the iPhone or this shiny new mini tablet. Hey there, if you're as obsessed with Apple's latest gear as I am, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you never miss another breakdown of Apple's mind-boggling decisions. Introducing the Kukshu X40Q, your all-in-one wireless charging and stand solution, charge your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods, or any phone support MagSafe simultaneously with 15 watt and key to fast charging technology, compact, foldable, and travel ready. Power up anywhere, anytime. Kukshu, charging made easy. Get yours today and save 10% using our coupon code at kukshu.co. Let's back to our video. Let's get into the details. All right, so here's the scoop. The iPad mini 7 is rocking the same A17 oh, Pro Soki as the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Sounds amazing, right? But plot twist, it's been binned. Yeah, the fancy term for Apple decided to turn off a few things. The iPhone 15 Pro from last year actually outperforms this new iPad in some benchmarks, why? Because the iPhone has a 6-core GPU, while the iPad Mini 7, well, it got left with just 5. Ouch. Now I know what you're thinking. But does it matter that much? Well, um, maybe not for everyday use, but in the Geekbench world, yeah, it shows. The iPad Mini 7 clocks in at a respectable single-core score of 2,840, multi-core score of 6,000, 982 and a metal gpu score of 25895 the iphone 15 pro though it hits 2888 in single core 7169 in multi-core and 27144 for gpu just a bit more oomph thanks to that extra gpu core so why would Apple bin their own chip? Well, it's probably due to efficiency. Or maybe some of those GPU cores didn't pass the quality check, so Apple just turned one off. But here's the kicker. The iPad Mini 7 still destroys the 2021 iPad Mini 6 with the A15 Bionic. Trust me, the difference is like night and day. You've got faster performance, better RAM, now eight gigabytes across both devices. So don't feel too bad if you've got the iPad mini seven in your cart. All right, gamers, this is where things get interesting. The iPad mini seven has to push a different resolution than the iPhone 15 pro on paper. They're pretty close 1179 by 2556 pixels on the iPhone versus 2266 by 1488 pixels on the iPad mini. But there's that tricky GPU situation. Will it impact high-end gaming or Apple intelligence tasks? Only time and more benchmarks will tell. So what's the final verdict? If you want the absolute best performance, you might want to stick with the iPhone 15 Pro. But if you're looking for a compact tablet that still beats out older models and can handle most tasks really well, the iPad mini 7 is still a solid buy. After all, it's more than capable for daily use, entertainment, and productivity. Now, I want to hear from you. Does the iPhone outperforming the iPad mini 7 change your mind? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth tech breakdowns just like this one and hey share this video with a friend who's thinking about getting the ipad mini 7 they need to know the truth thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace